Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merch Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you kind of a behind the scenes to a mobile event. We're going to talk about um, the event, and then we're going to show you different phases of, the, of a mobile situation when you guys decide to get into a mobile. You, you guys will have this video as a reference, so you guys will have an, a great understanding of how to put a mobile event together and what that entails. Okay, so what we did is we got all the ATMs, we lined them all up to the ones we're going to have nine ATMs for this event. It's a big mobile event. And what we're going to do is we lined them all up and then we started programming one by one. We started programming to get them ready for the event. Okay, some of them are 1K cassettes, some of them are 2K cassettes. We do that. On most of the events we do are 1K events for a mobile event, but some of the bigger ones that we know we put 2K cassettes. I highly encourage you guys to always use new ATMs. What we have done is we had some forces that we bought earlier in the season for the mobiles for this uh, mobile event, and this is their last event of the season. So we're gonna use these forces, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these forces back in a route, in a rotation, and then we're gonna take some use of the ATMs, probably end of life, and either we're gonna sell those or we're gonna junk those ATMs because they're end of life. Okay, so one of the things that we did is we always do is we line up all the ATMs depending on the event. Sometimes it's one ATM, sometimes it's five or six. For this ATM mobile event, we have nine ATMs. So what we did is we lined them all up and we're gonna put them in groups of three at the event. Some of the ATMs are going to have 1K cassettes, some of them are going to have 2K cassettes. We also are using forces. You might ask, well, why are we using forces? Um, at the beginning of the season, when we, when we went to buy ATMs, Nala Shosung ran out of ATMs, and so all we could get is Halo forces. So what we got is we brought the Halo forces, we put them on for our mobile events this year, and then we're going to put those on our route. We're going to, we got lucky and we're going to put those in to our upscale ATM locations after the mobile season is done. One of the things if you guys are doing mobile events that I highly recommend that you guys do is always buy brand new ATMs at the beginning of the season for your mobile events. That way it doesn't have any, um, if you have bad situations or old ATMs, a lot of times you'll have a lot of dispense bills and you could have jams. That's why we decided a long time ago to buy brand new ATMs for the mobile season. All right, so here we are at the event. I wanted to get you guys some footage of the event, people in motion, people in front of the ATMs. We brought all the ATMs in on a Friday. We set them all up. It took us about an hour and a half. We got them all staged up, and then we tested every ATM. Now, it's crucial when you guys get the ATMs, we test every ATM in the shop before we put it out, just to make sure it's good. Then when we get to the event, we do another test, put the money in, and then get another test, just to make sure everything is right during the event. Now what we do, we also, from time to time, we come in, we'll test to make sure the ATMs work and any problems. Some events, when you do a mobile, you just drop the ATM and you, you let the ATM go. Other events, you, you're throughout the whole event. On this particular one, we were supposed to be here the whole time during the event just in case there was any jams or anything, that's what the, the event coordinator wanted us to do. So that's what we did. All right, so now you get one of the events. One of the challenges, you're like, well, how much money do I put in the event? For us, we always use a simple formula. It's basically every, every 5,000 people is usually gonna go through 100 transactions. And then depending on what kind, how much each transaction. Usually fairs and festivals, they probably average around 60. We always built in a little cushion at, at 80. On this event, it was an inside event that people usually want to take more money out. So we were averaging, we were thinking it's probably going to be 100. And this event, we, this is the third day event. What we noticed is they were averaging about $120 a transaction. So on this event for indoor, this is a, it was Wizard World slash Comic Con. This event was actually, they took out more money than we anticipated per event. But we built in a cushion factor because it was the first time we did the event. We looked at previous numbers of the events uh, during somebody else did this event, and we had a nice cushion just in case uh, they took out more than we thought, which they did, but we were still 
very, we have had a nice cushion. So when you guys plan that event, you'll have to know what is, what is it, if you use the formula, kind of figure out every 5,000 people, they're gonna take out 100 transactions, and just use, if you're, if you don't know, or you just wanna play it safe, use $100 per transaction. That'll help you guys out for uh, each mobile event. All right, so we're gonna shoot different areas of the event. Sometimes it's loud, sometimes it's not. We're doing the best we can on the volume, but I hope this is helpful for you guys to see kind of a behind the scenes what happens during mobile event.